With the busy holiday season behind us, doctors now say that they're being inundated with sick patients. Respiratory viruses are spreading with COVID, flu, and RSV being the main problems. Fox 4's Alex Boyer spent time at Children's Hospital in Dallas today. Alex. That's right, you know, and the DFW Hospital Council is reporting that hundreds of people are in area hospitals with COVID, among them 21 children. Now, influenza cases are also on the rise. Doctors say there's no need to panic, but people need to be aware of this upward trend. Respiratory viral season is in full bloom with COVID, flu, and RSV cases keeping medical providers across the Metroplex busy. Sometimes it's hard for families to determine what's going on. Dr. Preeti Sharma is a pediatric pulmonologist at Children's Health Dallas. During Christmas week, Children's Health saw 496 flu cases system-wide, which includes inpatient, outpatient, and emergency room visits. RSV and COVID were a bit lower, but still high with 220 and 118 cases, respectively. In some school districts, it was a relatively short three weeks between Thanksgiving and winter break. Anytime the kids have been um, out of school and traveling or doing other things and then they come back together um, in that kind of group environment, there's always a spike in respiratory viral cases. Dr. Sharma added that flu vaccination rates for kids this year is down by about 5%. She says part of the reason is due to vaccination hesitancy and fatigue. But it's not too late, even though flu cases are going up. I don't think we've seen them peak. Adults are suffering from respiratory illnesses too, and many are ending up in the hospital. So we've doubled that number uh, in right in you know, relatively four to five weeks. Stephen Love is president of the DFW Hospital Council. As of Wednesday, Love says there are 706 people in North Texas hospitals who tested positive for COVID. That's an increase of 67 people from Tuesday. If you aren't current on your COVID vaccines, please give careful consideration to do so and do prevention like wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, in large groups, especially if you have underlying health conditions, you may want to wear a mask. Love also noted that the CDC has listed Texas as a high activity level for influenza and the Texas Health Department of State Health Services indicates it's seen a nearly 5% increase in positive flu testing. So not trying to panic anyone, but what we're trying to say is influenza is on the increase. COVID is on the increase. We've got to do everything we can to try to stop the spread of the infections. And RSV cases do seem to be leveling out. Now, to help curb the spread of these respiratory illnesses, a Dr. Sharma with Children's recommends that school-age kids who may be showing signs of illness, such as a fever, of course, and fatigue, stay home if possible.